Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about strawberries and I'm going to use my strawberry patch as an example. I'm pretty stoked on my strawberry patch this year. It's been very, very productive. We're picking like a quart a day. And so we've been doing that for about a month now. Maybe not a quarter a day a month ago, but you know, it's been escalating to that and that's about what we're picking now. The only problem is is that between myself, my daughter and my wife, we're eating them all. And I was hoping that I could be freezing the surplus so that we could have our own garden strawberries all winter. And so what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to keep continue to propagate them. I'm gonna crop out the rest of this stuff in my garden, just pull out all that kale and spinach, it's all starting to go to flower anyways. And um, these are just running like crazy now, so I'm just gonna let them root in the bed, and then I'll pull them out, cut off that runner, and then just keep planting out this bed, so I'll have a whole bed of strawberries coming up. So let me just talk to you about the details of these and why I think they've been successful. First thing, the variety that I planted is an ever-bearing variety called Seascape. I got these from the uh, local nursery here in Kelowna. And I, I like everbearing strawberries. I like them more in principle. Um, Juneberries are cool because they can be early, but these varieties were early. I mean, I was picking these, like it's been a month, so it's June now, and it's been, you know, easily a month since we've been picking these, so pretty productive right out of the gate. And what I did was I planted them at a six inch off center spacing. So six inches apart, off center, so in this bed, there's, at least, there's five rows and they're all offset. These are 32 inches on the inside. And that's worked really well. Um, one thing I always see people do with strawberries in, is that they, they screw them up because they, they put them too far apart. Like typically in gardens. So here's a shot of uh, a garden in my neighborhood. I won't, won't say the name, but I went and Rogue filmed their uh, strawberries and they're just suffering. You know, one, there's not a lot of fertility there, but the other is that they're so spaced out that there's no foliage, there's no canopy of growth to protect the soil from when you get a heavy rain, just erodes that soil and erodes your your nutrients. And that's a big part of the idea behind a bio-intensive planting like this is you've got a dense crop that the that the crop itself becomes the becomes the mulch that protects the soil, also gives you a little ecosystem inside where bugs can thrive but I also find an intensive planting like this is good to keep the birds away and so this planting here this is my my uh, my wife's brother and his garden and they're really spaced out and he says he can't even get to the strawberries because the birds get to them before he does and so I attribute that to there being no foliage and that there's the birds can just see them so easily so they just come down and grab them where in this kind of situation, they'd have to try a little bit harder to get them and they might not even see them to begin with. Now, on an agricultural approach, if you're gonna do these on a farm scale, you might do a slightly different density than I did. I did a video with Yotam K of uh, what's called Pakaraka Permaculture now. Back then, I think it was called Adama Farm. And uh, I'll link to that video here, check that one out. But uh, he did his strawberries on 30 inch beds, two rows apart, um, two rows, one feet, foot apart, and that worked really well for them. For him, he put landscape fabric down, so he had the holes pre-burned in there, drip irrigation and everything, and he had a very prolific crop. Now, one thing about doing them with um, landscape fabric is they won't prop, they won't self-propagate because there's nowhere for these little roots to root because they can't touch the soil. So that's one consideration there. But a lot of st strawberry growers do new plants every couple years because some people say if the plants are more than a few years old, they don't do that well. But these have done extremely well. And uh, I didn't put any fertilizer in the soil. All I put down was two inches of good finished compost and that was it. So that's all they've got. They get watered every now and then. I don't even water this garden that much. I mean, it, the weather's kind of turned. It hasn't been so hot lately. But um, 
yeah, that's my strawberry patch. It's incredibly productive. That's my video on strawberries. If you guys like that, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and hit that notifications button next to it so that you get notified when my new videos come out. Right now I'm on a schedule of posting Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and that seems to be working well for me, keeping you guys uh, up to date with fresh content, but also giving me a bit of uh, time to do other things like writing on Medium. I'm doing a blog on Medium once a week. You can check that out. If you're not on my list, there's a link below. I'll send you an email every week that has some stuff that I'm thinking about, some things that I'm into, a link to my blog, and uh, other little offers here and there. So if you want to check that out, link is below. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later.